Do you see there inside, number one, marked in red ink, on the side, number one. You see number one. It reads, whoever knows the Old and the New Testaments, and then reads the Quran, whoever knows, not just reading, who knows means who understood the message of the Old Testament and the New Testament, and then reads the Quran, clearly sees the, and the words, process by which it completely reduces divine revelation. The words process by which it completely reduces divine revelation are in italics. You see the type is different. Italic means everything in this book in italics means that the Pope with his own hands he underlined it for emphasis. These are in italics. The process by which it completely reduces divine revelation. Hmm. This is what he's telling his Christian readers. Because I don't know how many Muslims have read this. In the first meeting in London, not one. I'm asking the people, is there a single Muslim who owns this book? Who owns this book? Single Muslim. Not one. In the second meeting, another packed hall, I asked the same question. Is there a single Muslim who has, who owned this book or has seen this book? Two persons. In a packed hall of 3,000. Two persons. Don't know that they were Muslims or not, but I take them, they, they were Muslims. I'm asking the same question here tonight. Is there anyone in Bradford who owned this book? Please put up your hand. I want to reward you. Anybody, anybody who's got this folks book? Not one? Not one in these 3,000 people here? Amazing, amazing. I have been offering reward. I said, now there are two reasons why a Muslim is not likely to have this book. Two reasons. I give you one already. I make it easy for you. I make it easy for you. Number one, the price of this book is nine pounds ninety-nine pence. <laughs> for this, two hundred and forty-four small pages, newspaper. This paper is like newspaper. Hmm? Small, small, small paragraphs. Hmm? This book here, two hundred and forty-four pages, nine pound ninety-nine pence. If you gave 10 pounds, you get this one, cent, one, one penny change, this one. <laughs> you see this penny here? If you've got time to wait, they'll give you this one penny change. <laughs> so, number one reason is, is price. It's too expensive. Prohibitive. That's one of the reasons why you wouldn't be buying a book. Another reason. My sisters, first chance. You give me that reason, I give you this tape of mine, this was supposed to be a debate between me and Swami Agnivesh, a Hindu in Durban, on the concept of God in Islam, in Hinduism and Islam. I give my daughters a chance first. I gave you one reason already. Give me another reason why a Muslim is not likely to own this book. One was the price. The other one. Please, 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 come hurry up quickly. What's the other reason? Give me a reason why a Muslim is not likely to have this book. You haven't got it. One was the price. Hmm? Prohibited. Huh? Too clever. No. Huh? One, 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 one. Huh? Come, my daughters. Come, my daughters. This tape is yours. This is the first tape in UK. You will be the first person to own this tape in the UK. How can a Muslim buy this book which has just four, pa four I mean, pages for the... No, no, but when you go to buy the book, you won't know there's only four pages. You might think the whole book is dedicated to you. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. You see, the main reason, the main reason, huh? I gave you already that money is number one, nine pounds ninety-nine. That's number one. Number two, actually that's, that's number one. What I'm giving you now is number one. The number one reason why a Muslim is not likely to own this book, because we are a Lycra community, a community that don't read. Allah gives us the first word of Wahi revelation. He said, Ikra, read. And we would say, Laikra, I'm neighboring it. 
No, no, no. If you say that you are a kafir, do you know that? Allah says, read, you say, I won't read, you are a kafir. No, no, you don't say that. But in our behavior, we are a like a community. We are. we are not a reading people. We don't even read newspapers, man. You don't know what's going on in the world. I'm telling you. So these are the reasons. I don't I have to take the take back. But these are the two reasons. We are a Lycra community. We are not likely to buy. We are offering this book here. Look, compared to that. Look, hard cover, gold embossed. 224 pages, 230, 40 pages. Silk paper, silk paper, silk paper. You know how much? Guess, guess, guess. Right, right, right. It says five pounds, let's say five pounds. And if you buy one, you get one free. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, look, you buy one, you get one free. No Christian, Jew or Hindu can do that. Wallah, no. No, I'm telling you, nobody can. To give you a book like this, gold embossed, gold embossed, hardcover, silk paper, and the subject, Islam and Christianity. How to do dawah? Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati. How to invite people as the Qari read, Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati. Say, invite all to the ways of the Lord with wisdom. Wal mawazat al hasanati. And with beautiful preaching. Wajadilhum billati ahsan. And reason with them in the ways that are best and most precious. This book tries to do that. How much? Five pounds a book. And one you get free. Five for everyone you buy. I said, buy two, man. Buy 10, man, buy 10. Give it to your friends, your brother-in-laws, your son-in-laws, your employer, your employee. If you gave them two pounds, 10 shillings, because that will be costing you two pound 10, two pound 10. Two pound 10 shillings. Is that you got, you don't call it 10 shillings anymore. It's 50 pence, two pounds, 250. You gave anybody 250, he will tell you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, boss. You know, you're, to your employee, but behind your back, this is a very bastard. <laughs> gave, me, gave, me, gave me two run and fifty pence. He said, I can't, couldn't buy a bloody hot dog with this. Am I right? Yeah, I can't buy a bloody hot dog with this two pounds fifty pence you gave. But if you gave him a book, he'll never say, I couldn't buy a hot dog with this. Give it to him. Dawa. If you can't talk yourself, let this book do the talking. And they're available. As you are going out, they're available. Buy two, buy four, buy ten. Man, is the cheapest thing that you can buy on earth today. Cheapest thing on earth. Compared to... Five, nine, nine pounds, 99 pence for this measly thing. <laughs> right, so I says, now let us have a dialogue. We who are so close to you, the holiness. Islam is the only non-Christian faith, which makes it an article of faith for his followers to believe in Jesus. And we speak about him and his mother with the utmost respect. You can't compare. There is no comparison with the respect and reverence we have for Hazrat Isa alayhi salam and for his mother. There is no comparison. You, sir, your Christian world, you produce the film called Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> Superstar. In which they portray Jesus as a sodomite, as a gay, homosexual. Do you know that? Their God is a homosexual. He is portrayed as a homosexual in that film. Jesus Christ Superstar. And in the Westminster Abbey, in April, Easter, Easter. You know Westminster Abbey in London? That's the holiest of holies for the Anglican Church in this country, where the Queen goes, the defender of the faith, the Queen of England, she goes there. Maybe she was there. This is from in my newspaper, dated Sunday Times, April 16th, April 16th, Easter, Easter, 1995. I'm reading what it says. Shock, shock at obscenities in crucifixion play. They had the play of crucifixion that Jesus Christ is born and has grown and at the age of 33 he's getting crucified. Excruciating, pain, agony. See, a play in which Jesus Christ was referred to as... You can never guess. I give you a thousand guesses, you can never guess. What it says here. Jesus Christ is referred to as... a sorry looking bastard. No, no, look, these are Christians talking about their God. This is how they're addressing in, in the Westminster Abbey. And maybe the Queen of England was there. The different